we're up to the uh, to 2007 may 2007 and i think this is the there's this is the um i th- could be the eighth month that i've gone from chronologically in these poems uh there's still a couple of new months to do since i've uh you know, I've gone chronologically from 2005 when I first started posting to the blog in June of 2005 through present, month by month by month, in order to make sure that I do them all and to not be confused because I've duplicated efforts a, a few times as well. So anyway, we're up to the second month's second month of May in the blog, which is May of 2007. I'm Delray Cross. What, what I mean by we're up to, I'm reading individually each of the anachronisms, is what I call them, which are poems that I've written for 21 years now. Today, to give you some per- better perspective, to the day that I'm recording this is August the 11th, 2023. And um, I have written over 4,000 of these poems, and you can find them at the blog Anachronisms which is at anachronisms with a ZMS at the end, dot blogspot.com. The poem I'm going to read right now is from two, the one I posted into that blog. And, and now I'm recording all these and putting them into this YouTube playlist, by the way, which inevitably I think I will try to embed each individual one into the, into the poem, into each poem on the blog, which is, um, the, I, as I always say, the kind of the, the most appropriate platform for publication of these these particular poems, I think. Uh, that's what I've always said, yes. I mean, I know that's what I've always, that's what I've completely maintained, and I still absolutely believe that. It's a wonderful, it's, you know, it's not a book, but it's, it is my book. I mean, I have books, but it's my, this is the way that this, that, that what I've done for the last 21 years of writing mostly what I've written in the last 21 years. It's the best way to put them out there and probably will continue for ad infinitum, I'm sure. I mean, it just seems like a great little project for me. And so reading all of these has been wonderful for me to kind of wrap my head around what I've done so far. And it's only made me more sure of what I've just said uh, so far, but it also has given me so much more perspective about this and given me a lot of ideas and I get excited, blah, blah. Tuesday, May 15th, 2007, I posted anachronism number 454. Here's a little story of a guy who doesn't know when to beam out. He films separate footage of two languages because calendar time, as described by the Bible, makes those droopy energy beams intercept swiped lightsabers, which points out another problem with dynamic hierarchies. The Wonder Twins are two aliens from the planet Exor. I wonder how all these wiretaps are going, and why two men in masks are carrying machine guns through the guitar music. It's because the Lord brought about a meeting. Yeah, and only our Lord can sympathize. Well, I do expect Georgie could do better than to adapt those two paragraphs for the cinema. A sun is swelling over the clouds. Long silence. If ever a couple of books were made for cinematic adaptation, it's those two. Watch them fall onto our fluorinated cubicle where a rim job is in progress. Not to complain, however, as I got these two wonderful sons out of it. I'm sad to say this verse is the only one in my collection you authored, which makes me wonder how the words flew in the original language. And two people in a Volok conspiracy would be used as human shields, which explains why those evil guys got wasted after she was knocked out. And of course, brings to mind why it would be a brilliant literary device to have the harried mother emit a cool yellow light for added effect. These are all really funny stats, I know, but we always had the technology to beam it out into the world, so why don't we? No wonder such humor can be found in Israel. That's where all the dinosaurs are, 